Here's the thing. It is way too early for me right now. I should be making the EDC Weekly today. However, I've been asked by Levergear to come to their place of business. Uh, Levergear is a company that makes EDC gear to have a tool card, which is a wallet, and also the BitVault and BitLite. And those are very, very cool. I actually backed it on Kickstarter. Didn't realize they were two hours away. So now today, I'm going to go drive there and uh, bring you guys along. And look, I know I haven't actually done a vlog style video on this channel yet. And uh, it's not likely that that's going to be the core content of this channel ever. However, I wanted to show you guys before I leave what I'm carrying with me today. Because, well, why wouldn't I, right? Okay, for starters, this is very similar to the EDC I had on the video I made just last week or two weeks ago. So I have my Paramilitary 2 customized by EDC Alabama with a combat bead, the Tail of Knives belt loop organizer, Olay S2R 2 baton. I have my custom Swiss Army knife in a hitch and timber proper slip with the big idea design pocket or TI pocket EDC. I have my customized titanium pocket tool. And these are the interesting things I wanted to show you. So this is a wallet from Cave Leather Co. He actually, I think he said he started because of my older EDC videos and he wanted to send this to me. He sent me a watch strap in the past, but it's on my Apple watch somewhere. Uh, but this is his Anderson wallet and man, I love this wallet already. And look, just boop. It's got a little pull tab on the back and that nice OD green nylon strap. I love this thing. This is perfect for really lightweight wallets and the ultimate keychain. So you add your keys like you would to any key organizer. Keep them from jingling with this little leather cover. And on the back you can put your key fob, which is really nice except for me because I have a Tacoma. I have the separate key and fob. So it doesn't work too well for me. But I think if you had a keychain or like a, a fob with a built-in key or one of those flip out keys or a keyless entry with a keyless ignition, this thing would be sick. But for me, I've got to add this whole thing on here because Toyota is Toyota. Anyway, this guy's name is Glenn Rosenthal. He is Cave Leather Co. over on Instagram. I highly recommend you go check him out. He makes some really cool gear. There's also one more thing outside of my truck that I have to show you guys, but I'm really late now. Look at that. How sick is that? Someone just made a vinyl for my truck just because. Pretty sure that I shared this guy's EDC right after he sent this to me and I didn't actually realize it was the same person, but DBH photo or hoggy decals over on Instagram from Dylan Hogg. He made decals just because he was bored. He actually sent a whole stack of them. It's crazy. Look at that. I gotta figure out what to do with all these. So after almost three hours on the road, I finally made it. I'm here with Lever Gear in Greenville, South Carolina. This place, this is a really, really neat place. It's Hampton Station and I'm jealous. I actually want to see this place when there are actually people here because this is 11 a.m. on a Thursday and there's not really much going on. But this is a little taco joint. There's a brewery over here. And uh, this is Mike from Lever Gear. He's the founder of Lever Gear. And I'm here today to talk about the Bit Vault, which was a uh, Kickstarter project and Indiegogo right and I was actually a backer of this thing reached out and uh, here we are I didn't realize they were just a few hours down the road so I came to see it in person so uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about the BitVault sure um, as you said uh, this is our new product the BitVault and um, we launched it on Kickstarter uh, earlier this summer and um, we're, we're currently on Indiegogo in demand as well. So, um, but we are just days away from getting in our first order of production parts. So, uh, looking forward to shipping that soon. So the Bit Vault, it's just a, a small carry case. Um, it's got a little clip on it, so you can put it on your on your keychain, um, like so, or you can just keep it in your pocket or bag or wherever. Um, but it's sort of like a, a mini pillbox. Um, it just releases like that. And on the inside, there's a small drawer. Um, these are some removable partitions, which you can use if you wanna carry uh, 
hex bits in it or, or pills or, or whatever, but you can configure these partitions in different ways to carry different things. Let's go inside <laughs> and check out the rest of the stuff. So uh, we'll just show you a little bit about the bit ball and um, a little sneak preview of the bit light. Um, these are our two different colors for the bit vault. Um, we've got black and we've got sort of a two-tone silver. Um, and on this one, I've got the uh, removable belt clip screwed on. Um, this one just shows it without the belt clip. Um, but those are the two different color options. Um, as I mentioned earlier, um, you can sort of see we've got these removable partitions in here and um, you can configure them any way you want. Um, if I close that up, I think I've got this one configured a little bit differently in here. So we, we actually removed one of the partitions so we can fit some bigger stuff. Um, but you can take everything out and uh, you know fit just larger items or long items. You can take out this uh, sort of horizontal divider and put some long items like toothpicks in there or matches. Um, or just take everything out and, and fit whatever you need to. Um, so that's that and then if you really if you really needed extra space you can um, take the drawer off and just use the cap like that um, but so that's just one option if you had something specific that was big that you wanted it more this is more like a traditional pillbox I guess um, and so this is a just sort of an early prototype of the bit light um, it's uh, very similar. It will be very, you know, same parts as the bit vault, um, but uh, with, with the addition of a light. Um, so this is actually the old version. These are just some sort of bulb LEDs in there, um, and we're actually redesigning it to, to put some really nice surface mount LEDs that are gonna be super bright. So, but if I open this up, um, same idea. You can carry bits inside, um, and then this is the area for the battery. Um, and you can see it's gonna be rechargeable. So there's a little USB uh, recharge there and um, you can fit whatever you want here, whether it's bits or we're gonna have a little cable you can fit in there um, or pills or whatever you need. Um, so that's a, just a sneak peek of the bit light. Quick, we'll just show how you use the, um, the hex bits. So as I say, just close this up, put the bit in your, in your hex bit. Um, make sure it's fully locked in place and you've got a little portable screwdriver. Um, so I've got the, the belt clip on this one, so it, it's great if you're working on a project, you just clip it on your, on your pocket or your belt and it's, it's just sort of handy and ready to go for you. Very cool. And that also works as sure. a wrench. Yeah, you can also put it in here and um, you just get a little more torque on it so it works as kind of a, a wrench. Or if, it, you know, if you're in a small place, easier to get to. Very neat. And can you show us the inside of that again? Sure. Yeah, so here's the inside with the dividers in place, and you just keep the bits in there. Very cool. Close it up. I'm very excited to get mine. Great. <laughs> uh, when would they ship? That's a good question. Uh, I didn't even think so that. we're expected to get them in um, December 14th is the the date that we've been promised. Um, so we'll as soon as we get them in, uh, that's on a Friday. We're just gonna crank and ship these out uh, as soon as we can hopefully that Monday and we'll get all of the orders out for Kickstarter and Indiegogo and then we should have some leftover uh, to put on our website for the holidays very neat so that means they should technically arrive for some people before Christmas yeah or most yeah. people if, as long as they got the bit vault not the bit light yes correct the bit light um, will be coming later in the spring um, as I alluded to we're, we're redesigning it to make it the, the light part of it just much better and just a really strong, bright EDC flashlight. Very cool. Thank you. We almost forgot, didn't we? Yeah. There's, a, there's another product. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our, our first product, the Tool Card Pro. Um, and here it is sort of in the, the retail packaging um, that we just finished this retail packaging. So hopefully we'll be in stores near you soon. Um, but it is a credit card size multi-tool with 40 different tools on it. Um, and it comes in black or silver. Um, this, uh, this has just the money clip on it right now. And I use mine as a money clip. As you can see, it's just the same size as a credit card. Um, and it can hold, you know, I hold about four cards and just a lot, lot of cash. And it's, that's all I carry. Um, but the clip actually can just pop off like that. So you can just keep this part, just the card in your wallet. 
like any other wallet card, but um, it's a little, little unique in that you can just snap the clip on and use it as a money clip. We can do personalization because we do all the, the laser etching ourselves. Um, and here's one where we did like a groomsman uh, car. You know, we, we, we kind of do like a name, groomsman, the date. So that's, that's pretty popular. And then when we do that, we actually um, do some just additional packaging um, that has, you know, the, the, the person's name on it. Um, so it's just a little bit, uh, it's just a little bit special when they open it. So an example of that. Um, very, very cool. So that's the, yeah, that's the Tool Card Pro. So I just left Lever Gear, got a nice little tour of the place, got to play around with some stuff, see some prototypes of the Bit Light, play with the Bit Vault, and uh, they also made a custom version of the Tool Card Pro for me, which has my logo on it, which is really, really nice of them. I uh, just wanted to say thank you guys from Lever Gear for letting me come out and uh, See you guys soon. If you are at all interested in a Bit Vault, they're going to be available on the Lever Gear website next week. So if you want to, there's going to be a link down below that you can use to purchase a Bit Vault for yourself. If you do use one of those links to purchase a Bit Vault, it will help support the channel. And if you want to help support the channel in other ways, you can go to patreon.com forward slash bestdamnedc. If you found this video helpful and you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button below and subscribe to see more stuff like this in the future. And hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. And of course, you can find us around the web on Twitter and Instagram at bestdamnedc. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Casper Tech. And until next time, carry on.